Here we are in the MSC Seaside, room 10264. It's at the back of the ship. It's a, got a wraparound balcony. I'll turn around here. I apologize for the shakiness of the camera. It's an old one. i got to buy a new one if I'm going to keep doing these. Way on the back of the ship. That's where I am. So down two floors to the uh, buffet. Good enough for me. I'm sure there's a bar there that's even better. It has one of these uh, things you have to put a card in. Uh, I will check that out and see if you need one to turn the power on or not. It certainly requires one. I, I mean the actual key card. If I can put in a gift card from somewhere, I'll do that. There's a cute little function here for your cabin steward. Do not disturb and make up room. Uh, I have not met him or her yet. Come in uh, to the hallway. You have a window that overlooks the pool just kind of lets some light in it's not very tall as I stand here now this is at about four and a half five feet tall so it's not a very big window but it's good for light and it certainly is nice coming into the bathroom which is larger than your regular bathroom uh, I would say at least two and a half times if not three times larger that shower for sure is much larger there are three, uh, four closets here. The first one has drawers and the safe. And then the other three are lighted, but they have, uh, are just hanging closets. So there's uh, one, two, three hanging closets. We'll do the scan of the room. Initial impressions of the room are, it's about, you know, the bathroom might take up a little more room. It's about the size, the length of a regular balcony room. It certainly feels wider. I'm going to say that. It feels like it's, you know, three feet wider. I don't know. Uh, one of the biggest advantages for a, a guy like me who craves light, sunlight, and whatnot is this ex extra window. Down here you've got a fridge, a couple more drawers. I don't, I don't know what that is. Your desk that has drawers in it. I'm sure there's a hair dryer in there. Uh, switches for everything. What does this switch do? Oh yeah, that's that one. Uh, I don't know what this one is. It's not operating anything in the in the room. Um, the sofa is a pullout. I'll say that uh, the sofa is very. Uh, used dirty. It's not. I don't think it's dirty. Dirty. It's used dirty. Uh, there is the mat. Our bags. My bags have not shown up yet. We got on the balcony. It gets a little windy out there, even sitting in court. You have a couple of chairs and a stool slash table. This is a uh, the contraption that they use to wash windows. Uh, I don't really find it right now. It's not in the way. Um, especially because you can sit here or you can sit here. These two chairs do recline. Um, as you come out over here, again, you'll see you're on the back of the ship. You've got there. And that glass bridge that I'm not going to go on. I'll see if I can muster up the deals. But the wraparound balcony is pretty exciting. I'll give you one more view here of the room. And uh, check in my comments. Uh, I will give you my uh, opinions of the room uh, in the comments. I'm, I, I'm not savvy enough to know, but I just love this window. Savvy enough to know how to add to this <laughs> video. So. Anyways, I apologize for the shakiness. Maybe next one, uh, next cruise, I'll have a new camera. I just kept forgetting to buy one. Uh, happy cruising, and uh, we'll talk to you later.